we're going to look at the spiritual, the mental, the emotional, and the physical aspects of being spent. And I will show you the four quadrant model that was put out by Ken Wilber many years ago, which describes how spirit unfolds in its manifestation in four separate categories that are all part of one experience we call life. The, the upper left quadrant really is, is the quadrant of our inner world, and that's the invisible realm of spirit within us. The upper right quadrant is the actor. So the upper left represents our myth or our story, and the upper right quadrant is our physical expression. That's where we show up on the stage as an actor. So this is where we participate as the actor in our own story. And so to the degree that we lack health and fitness, then our actions are likely to not be congruent with being creative and creating the story and engaging the relationships we want, but we go into survival mode and we're constantly uh, trying to deal with some kind of stress that's devitalizing us and thus we risk being spent. Now, if we go to the lower left quadrant, this is the inner domain of the cast and the crew. We are all the star in our own story, our own myth, and we're always the leading actor, but we cannot live life and have love without relationships, nor can we grow mentally or spiritually or emotionally. So over here is the cast and the crew, and that's your soul group. That's the people you create with or who are challenging you. These are what we call our people, our tribe. And what holds the cast and crew together is love, and if there's not enough love, then you have an antagonist or an enemy, which then inspires spiritual growth because it gives you an opportunity to learn how to listen better, communicate better, share values, find common dreams, and work together with negotiation, which is lacking in the world. So the lower right quadrant is the world stage. It's the domain of the persons, places, things, systems, and the environment, which is the theater of life, can only experience it through acts of love. Anything else is just a story written on paper, and it's a great way to get yourself trapped into a belief system, end up with a closed mind, and start segregating yourself from other people. And next thing you know, people are no longer people or expressions of God. They're objects you want to eliminate because they're in the way of you following whatever was written on paper by somebody else and you don't realize you're being controlled and losing your agency, your creativity, and becoming um, a threat to yourself and to others, which is not love.